Giovanni is 33 years old, married, father of two, and about to lose everything. During COVID, her wife lost her job, and she's been unable to find a new one. It's been years since Giovanni is not happy in his job. He's been showing some serious symptoms of depression. He and his family are noticing that there's something wrong with him. He wants to change this, but is it too late to try? Some of you could say, or might think, easy chance, if the job is the problem, he should just change it. <laughs> well, it's not that easy, folks, at least not in Italy. Let's go back in time so you can understand how Giovanni happened to find himself in this situation. Unfortunately, since he was a little kid, he never enjoyed going to school. He basically didn't like to study. <laughs> and we shouldn't be surprised, nobody teaches you at school how to do it. And if you suck at studying, after a while, it's understandable that you don't like it. <laughs> anyway, Giovanni was 14 years old, and he was months away from finishing junior high school. Just for a moment, make an effort and try to put yourself in Giovanni's shoes, okay? You live in the north of Italy, you are 14 years old, you don't like studying, and you need to choose your public high school. Ready? Living in northern Italy, Giovanni needed to choose between 28 options. <laughs> yes, you listen well. There are 28 different options to choose from here in Italy. Six types of lyceums, 11 technical institutes, and 11 professional institutes. For some of these schools, you need to study five years to get your diploma. But in some of the professional institutes, after two or three years, you can get a special qualification that would allow you to start working right away. Now, I'm curious, how did you make this decision? Did you have any kind of orientation? Did your parents force you to study in a certain type of school? Giovanni did have help at school. They made him take some tests. He didn't like to do any kind of evaluation, so he didn't put any serious effort into them. And regardless of the results, Giovanni knew from the beginning what he wanted. Study as least as possible in the upcoming years. What would have been your choice? What were your priorities when you were 14? Are you happy with your high school studies? If you can turn back, would you choose something different? If yes, why? What would be your advice to Giovanni? Please write down in the comments, what did you do to make this important decision? Or what would you recommend to the teenagers that are facing this choice now? Maybe what you write will be incredibly helpful to the people reading your comments. And if your contributions are not helpful for them directly, they might be for someone they know. So please share your experience below. There are millions of teenagers all around the world making this decision every year. And sadly, some of them are facing this situation alone. This is a critical mistake. Choosing your high school most of the time has a direct impact on which bachelor's degree you will get to choose or which kind of job you will do right after you graduate. If you don't make a wise decision, you could end up like Giovanni. Giovanni is a specialized worker in the metal mechanic industry. He spends all day in the factory doing a repetitive job. There's no clear career path. There are no challenges, no satisfactions. He feels there is no purpose in what he's doing. Don't get me wrong. He considers himself lucky just to have a job. It's a noble one that allows him to provide for his family, but he is sick of it. He has felt this way for years. He thought of quitting before, but because of his children, he has never had the courage to do so. Giovanni has spent his entire professional life in the metal mechanic industry. Now, he wants to quit. He wants to invest all of his savings to open a restaurant. Should he do it? What would you do? What do you think he could have done differently? Was there a way to prevent this? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe 
I'm going to analyze this kind of situation in a future video. See you in the next one. Ciao.